Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell, this video is gonna be about Jackson and Daisy, my two golden retrievers, because they really need a bath, because this is all they do all day long. But let me pause right here because I just want you guys to know that I'm not a professional groomer. I've never had training in grooming. I've never had training in anything dog related. I just have my own golden retrievers and this is what I've learned from having them. So yeah, but if you have any questions, I would be happy to answer them. So moving on. So that's Daisy, she's just smiling away because she's so happy that she's gonna get a bath because she's just the happiest dog ever. And that is Jax. He has his hair shaved on the side of his face because he had a hot spot that kind of got infected, so we had to take care of that. But they really need a bath, so we're gonna go ahead and do that today. So first things first is I gather everything that I'll need for giving them a bath. Um, so this is their shampoo that I'm going to use and the brush and all that. This is what their brush looks like. Uh, I've showed this in a video before but I got this from Walmart and I really like it. And then I get their comb and the scissors and then this is a shampoo that I'm using today. Um, I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. I think it's Bodhi Dog. Um, but it's the Gentle Lavender Shampoo, and they were actually nice enough to send me and the dogs this. So thank you so much for them for sending that. Um, but it's safe for dogs, for sensitive skin, hyperallergenic, and everything like that. So, And it smells really good, and I really liked it after filming this video. They also sent me this uh, bath brush, which this was obviously my first time using it because I had just seen it out of the package, but this is what it looks like, and it worked so well, so you'll see later on in the video. And then I go ahead and grab two washcloths, one for each dog, and then three towels to dry them off. And then I go over and turn the water on for the hose. I am bathing the dogs outside because it's 72 degrees in Florida and it's definitely warm enough for them to get a bath outside with a hose. Even though it's cold water, they're pretty thick coat, thickly coated dogs, um, so they definitely can stand that water um, and that temperature because they get in the ocean and it's a lot colder than that, so they're definitely fine. Um, but I just go ahead and I'm starting off with Jax because, I don't know, I always do Jax first for some reason. But I go ahead and get him wet, grab my shampoo, which Daisy just had to sniff for you guys. Um, but I go ahead and grab my shampoo, lather it all in, and yeah, just make sure I get literally everything. And then I go ahead and grab that brush that I was telling you guys about, and it works so well. See how well it's all foaming up? Like, it doesn't ever do that, and it just scrubbed it and jacks really loved it i could just tell like it was like a massage and he really enjoyed it he didn't tell me that and he wouldn't admit it but i know he really enjoyed it so that's all i have to say about that So then there's Jax running away from me and I have to drag him back because he has soap all over him, so. And I just had to show y'all how much hair this got off of him. These dogs shed like no other. So for the fact that it took off this much hair, I was just like so thrilled about it. So after I've lathered all the soap in and everything and he's covered head to toe in soap, um, I go ahead and rinse it all off of him. So next up is Daisy Girl. Um, I just go ahead and do the exact same thing with her. Get her all wet, lather up the soap, use the soap brush and all that. Caught in an 
And of course, the most important part is giving her a kiss midway through giving her a bath. She tends to act like she doesn't want to kiss me because she's mad that she's getting a bath, but then she realizes that she still loves me and she'll give me a kiss anyways. <laughs> And right here, she decided that she wanted to act like she was paralyzed and not move or, you know, cooperate with me. So I had to drag her little hips back and then she shook all over me. So love that. So I didn't show this part um, of drying Jax off because my camera actually died. So I had to try. But this it. is me drying off Daisy with the towel. Pretty simple, self-explanatory. Um, Jax and Daisy both love this part. But while I'm drying him and her off, I go ahead and I kind of squeeze their paws if you can see like all that water come off and there's just like certain spots where they have a lot of hair where the water just like pools and so if you just kind of like squeeze it like wring it out a little bit then it doesn't hurt them or anything and it gets the water out so the towel just like doesn't get super soaked and they actually get dry. And then of course she shakes all over me yet again. And still the same amount of hair came out of that which is amazing. And I also didn't show this part with Jax again because my camera died, but this is what I do for their face and like their head and their ears. Um, I just take a washcloth and I just get it wet and then I just rub their face and like wipe the inside of their ears and make sure everything's nice and clean. I don't like to get it super wet or use soap because I don't want them to get an ear infection because um, dogs with like floppy ears like that are super prone to ear infections like really easily. So then after they're both dry, I just go ahead and let him back in. Um, Jax was already inside, so he was patiently waiting at the door for us. And then Daisy goes in and rolls all over my couch and just rubs all over it and gets it all nice smelling like wet dog. So. And then after this, they both get a treat because they did so good. Um, these treats were actually sent to them as well. They're from Jiminy's and they're cricket treats. They love them. Um, I posted about them on my Instagram as well, so make sure you go and check them out. I'll leave it down in the description below. So after they're bathed and they're like kind of dry, but like not totally dry, um, I go ahead and brush them. I'm brushing Jacks right now. Um, I just brush them and get out all the loose hair and everything from bathing them and drying them and everything um, just so, you know, it doesn't end up all in my house even though it will eventually. Um, I make sure to get behind their ears because that's where knots tend to go. Um, on Jacks, they tend to go below his tail, like kind of by his butthole. Um, TMI, but true. Um, so yeah, I just try to get everything out before I start trimming him. So the part that really needs to be trimmed on Jax is his tail and his butt area. It grows out a lot, way more than Daisy's. Jax actually just needs to be trimmed and brushed way more than Daisy does. His hair is a lot like thicker and fluffier than hers and he sheds a lot more. Um, so I just go ahead and start by brushing out his butt hair because it gets really long as you can see and his tail hair. And then I just go ahead and see like where it needs to be trimmed. Um, so. Yeah, you'll kind of see how I do it. I'm not like a perfectionist as far as his hair goes as long as like there's no dirt and stuff in it and when he uses the bathroom, nothing gets stuck in it if you know what I mean because it's like super long. So I just trimmed it up a little bit. Um, I like the long look but I don't want it to be too incredibly long to where it's just not manageable. So I just trim it as to what I think it needs to be. So after I trim his butt, um, I go ahead and make him lay down and then um, I go ahead and trim his paw hair. He has Grinch feet, which was perfect for Christmas, but not anymore. It's grown out way too crazy and it definitely needs to be trimmed. So I went ahead and trimmed his paws. I just take the scissors and do it. I also trim like the hair on his arm, I guess is what you call it. 
because um, that was getting super long too and it's kind of getting, getting tangled and I just like the way that it looks when it's like freshly cut. Um, so I went ahead and trimmed that up a little bit. I probably took like an inch off, um, but don't worry, his hair grows super quick and he has plenty of hair to go around. So um, yeah, and then I just went ahead and trimmed his paw hair and then I also cut his nails while I had him laying down too. And people always ask me how I get them to like let me touch their paws and trim their hair and they just lay there perfectly and everything and honestly um, it just comes with time and I've had them since they were six weeks old and so I've been doing this to them since they were six weeks old and so they're just they don't necessarily love it like if you can see on Jax's face he's kind of squirming a little bit but he knows like okay mom's cutting my nails let me just sit here and get it over with um, so he definitely cooperates and I just kind of try to be patient with him and um, if he wants to lay a certain way and then I just kind of work around him so it just comes with time and if your dog is comfortable with you touching their feet and everything then they don't really care what you do so I would just say start when they're young if you can and if you get them when they're a little bit older then maybe just like practice um, touching their feet and their paws and all that kind of stuff just like messing with them so that they know that that's not like a bad thing. So then he wanted to stand up so then I just went ahead and cut the other part of his arm I guess, um, the other side, um, while he was standing up. So again, just kind of working around him what he wants to do. And so he's all done, he's all clean, he's all trimmed and everything and he looks so handsome. So now it's Daisy's turn. She's actually still pretty wet after this, but it started to get dark, so I wanted to make sure that I got her done. And she doesn't shed as much, and she doesn't need to be trimmed as much. Her hair is just a lot thinner than Jax's for some reason. So I just went ahead and brushed her through, and then um, brushed her back end and her tail. And then behind her ears, her ear hair is a lot longer than Jax's though, I will say. Um, so that's kind of where she gets knots because it gets like nice and curly and crimped looking and stuff. So I just went ahead and started trimming her butt area. She has like little like fluffy parts on the side of her leg too that I kind of trimmed down a little bit because it was looking a little wild. Um, and then trimmed her tail. Daisy does not like when I brush out her tail hair. She does not like when I touch her tail hair. So um, kind of have to be super gentle with that. Um, and just kind of like do it when she'll let me. She actually did really good this time, so I was super proud of her. I moved on to her ear hair. This is actually the first time that I've trimmed her hair around her ears. It just started to grow out like really long randomly and so um, it was just getting really long and like kind of crazy looking. Um, although it was super cute, it did get tangled and uh, we get knotted and matted so I made sure to trim it down at least to the length of her ears and she looks super cute now. And as always, don't forget to give him a kiss. And then after this, I went ahead and laid her down, trimmed her paw hair, and cut her nails. And then after that, she was completely dried and I brushed her a little bit more. But yeah, after that, my camera died and I didn't really feel like I needed to film all that since I already did that with Jax. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you follow me over on my Instagram. I post a ton of pictures with the dogs and I'm super active over there on my stories. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I post a video. Like this video, comment if you want to see more videos, if you have any questions. I love chatting with you guys and hearing what you guys have to say, hearing your stories and hearing what you think about Jackson Daisy. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Thank you.